Welcome to the another episode of Abstract Thesis series. In this series, we are digging deep into the Power BI concepts. If you have not subscribed, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for our new video. Hello and welcome to another video of Abstract Thesis series. And in today's video, we would like to discuss one scenario. We would like to know, you know, what are the items which are not sold to a customer? And there could be, you know, thousands of items we have. So we will restrict ourselves to, you know, categories. And I I'm going to use my sample data which I'm using in most of other uh, videos, uh, the sales data uh, where I have this, um, you know, sample item dimension, geography and uh, date and sales table uh, along with my customer dimension. So we are going to use that and uh, we're trying to find out uh, what are the categories which we have not sold to a particular customer and we'll try to have a count of this one. Now, uh, the count here, we are going to have total count means customer plus category is the count we are looking forward so we'll try to have that are we going to get the correct number or not so let's let's begin our journey so first of all uh, what we wanted to find out is basically for the customer let's bring in the customer name what are the categories we are selling to him okay first we need to know that what we are selling to him so we bring in customer from the customer dimension and i have a joint sales table with it and similarly i have my item dimension where I have category and we will check once we create that major first we'll create a simple major and then we'll check it with item also okay and then I need my major which is net so net is the thing which I am most bothered about so now first of all what we need to do is we need to find out what are category which we are not selling to to this customer and actually we are going to use a pretty generic formula that can be used with everything right not like you know not selling to this customer what we are not selling so first of all let's try to find out what we are not selling and the very simple thing to do that is basically creating a major we call not sold okay hopefully this is a unique name and we say if is blank net then one else zero and i'll tell you different version of this uh, to you but right now in this formula we say if one else blank so re do, do the reverse of it if it is blank then one otherwise make it blank okay so uh, but net is doing net whenever net is not there it's basically giving uh, us a blank right now so that's why the data is not there now we are doing reverse of it if it's net is there then we are not going to sh show then we are going to show otherwise we are not going to show so now you see wherever we don't have the net we are getting a value and if I remove net from this visual, let me duplicate this visual for you. So if I remove net from the second visual, now you can see that I'm for customer one, I'm getting two and three, which is not, uh, which is if I take net here, let's say if I remove the not sold from the first one, see for the customer one, I'm getting category one, one, four, five. And see th this is two and three, which is available here. So exactly reverse of it. And let me duplicate this page and want to show you one thing that if I bring, let's say item here, the name instead of category and let, let, let's keep the category. Uh, let's not keep the category here. Let's do this. Now we have a huge number of items. We have around 50 items. So, you know, would be really difficult to find out. Let's bring in item here also. Now for category one, you see only three items we are selling. So those three items will not appear here. Rest of all, rest of all the items will appear. So item two, we, you will find that should be missing. And the thing here is that item two will come somewhere here. The sorting is, you know, not proper. And we can do correction in this sorting by, you know, uh, going to our item dimension. And I'll, I'll, let me tell you, let's try that out. Go to our item dimension. And item name and item IDs. Item ID is the numeric one, item name is this, and both are unique. And we can go here and say sort by column for the item name is item ID. And now if I go and see the sorting, you will see the same as number sorting. And now you will be able to easily find out that item two is missing. Then you will be able to find out item 28 is missing. So both ways we are able to do. But the challenge which all such major. Now this is something which uh, using, uh, you know, a row context because net is a major and it get evaluated at a row level, the visual row level. So we only know that this is not there but the grand total doesn't have anything so it's uh, it's not finding the context to calculate it so now what we need to do is we need to create a major which actually can count these customers and categories now we need to count customer as well as category both 
because I need that uh, there are two categories which are missing for the customer one, three categories which are missing for the customer two, and then uh, ultimately I'll get the overall count. So now let's try to create a measure where we can count this. Now they are coming from two different dimensions. Now if it would have been one dimension, I would have simply told you, you know, go to sum x or count x values and then just do it. But they are two, not one. So what to do? Let's do the same thing twice. I'll tell you how. So let's create a major and this is, you know, cat not sold to cust categories, not sold to customers. So uh, we are going to, let's say count one and zero, which we are some one and zero because we need to sum because if it is blank, we, if we return blank, then we can count or sum. It's going to result same thing. But if you are going to result return zero, then you can't count because zero is also going to be counted one. So to be on the safe side, we take it sum x. So even if you are returning zero, then that case is handled. Sum x values, I want to count the customers, let's say. Customer name. Now, I in the values, I can't give another column, okay? So then what I need to do, I need to run on another major inside this one. So let me put calculate here and say another sum x. And in this sum x, I say values, item, brand. Okay. I close this and I write down that formula again, which I've written now. If is blank net, then one else parenthesis was missing blank. Then if is close, this sum x is close, calculate is close, another sum x is close. Let's see, does we get a count? Okay. So we what we are saying here is for category one also, we are getting a count. Okay. So are we counting items or are we counting brands? So we are counting brands only. So values brand. Oh, we are counting brands. We should have counted category. Now it is correct. So if you give the wrong column, the results would be wrong. Now, what we need to do is there should not be any category one here. So there is no category one here. And let's filter and count because right now I can't say, you know, now we can't filter on that. Isn't it? This is different filter which we need. Because if you filter category one from there, it's get customer and category one, both are getting filtered. So we are not going to get any result anyways. So that was also correct. It's returning blank. That's what we were expecting it to return. So now let's bring in customer here, customer dimension or category dimension, depending on our choice. We want how we want to test it. So now we want to test it here. So I choose customer one. So I get count two and I, I know the three out of three, two categories. And now customer, including customer two, now we should have count. See, we are only selling one category out of five. So four, we have sold 10. So total 10 should be sold four and one. Okay. And then we need one more. So we taken one more hundred and let's take 10 with control. So again, uh, here we are selling four. So five difference would be this and then control, control and control three. So how many we are selling here is, uh, we are selling here three and three, six and one, seven total should be 15. So remaining eight are here. So the numbers are correct. So now what we have done here is we taken two different dimensions. Actually, the dimensions are two different dimensions and are, they're, they're not part of the, they, they are not the same dimensions member. They are from different dimensions. And we tried to find out what has been not sold to the person. So these are the categories which are not sold, but will that be successful when we go to the item? So if I try to count this, let's say at the item level, what would happen there? Okay. So not sold. Now here at few places, you will find it is correct at another places. You may not, not find it correct. The correct way to get the count here is, and if 
see essentially if one item is only belonging one category then kind of stuff where it may go ahead and give it so we can take a name here and we can say item not sold to customer okay and you see much larger count now compared to category because grand total look the grand total the calculation of the grand total let me remove these erase these filter the calculation of the grand total is custom coming from customer category level the calculation of the grand total here is now going to come from customer item level and remember we have 50 items so we have a large number and when 55 items and then customers we have let's look at the numbers the multiplication what we are going to get this item are around 55 and the customers are around 6000 so we have around more than 300k rows and see only we are selling to this much okay not sold now now one thing we should we should do here is the cross join how much actually the count is so we should try to validate that so uh, let's take create a major quickly and see what that number is so which is actually 55 star 6100 let's say right now and then we'll correct exact number we'll be able to know the combination the cross combination we wanted to know and now we'll go and find out the correct number and then so 6138 and then also do this as unformatted so i go to the property call out values none and 6138 so we have 337 590 out of which 309 336 are not sold so there are such a big item and this combination so you can imagine how many items are not sold to a particular customer or a set of customers there are means tons of items in this case you know which can be sold to the other customers we have 55 items every customer is buying two three items or five items maximum so there are a lot of opportunities which are available here in terms of combination this is the number which is coming out so go ahead and try this out and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you keep watching keep asking questions in comments subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you